I hear you, woman. Don't worry. I got it. We'll go back over to the other place in a minute, love. It's fine. It's fine. We'll be okay. Come back over here. There's plenty of spikes for you over here. Just come over here. <clears throat> Yeah, I think the big thing is the the big thing is the poncho. It's the big thing. If you stick a poncho on, you're all GG. It's minus 20 degrees for the poncho. Um, a cowboy hat also works as well. You can even make one out of grass fiber. Um, that does decrease your temperature, I'm pretty sure. You can make uh, this plant fiber hat. Just out of plant fibers. And that does decrease your temperature, I'm pretty sure. So you can use that. To keep yourself cool if you've got a problem. Um, the other thing is to drink tea. The red tea cools you down as well. So make red tea. Get chrysanthemums. Grow chrysanthemums. And make red tea. And every time you get too hot, use a red tea. I don't know, prone. The cops still blow up and could kill me. I'm hoping not to die, right? We've got almost 2,000 zombie kills. And those spike kills, by the way, don't count for zombie kills. So my zombie kills won't go up. All those zombies that are dying on the spikes don't count as kills for me. So those 2,000 kills are all with club and bow. All of them. Well, a few of them with a rifle or something, but not very many. Most of them are with club and bow. About 95% of them will be club and bow, if not more. Yeah, there is a bit of party down there, right? Does it make it interesting? Well, the interesting thing for me right now, Pruned, is... Um, I've, I'm good at the game, right? I've played it a lot. I've streamed like a thousand hours of it and I'm good at the game. So, um, I don't die too much, right? I die occasionally, but not too much. And so, if someone else played the game, right, who didn't have as much experience in the game perhaps, okay, and they tried to do the exact same build, then yes, they may successfully do 7 day hordes the same as I do, but they might still die when they're out and about and running around and all that. See all those, see all those random hordes? Prone, you see all those random hordes that I get coming at me and I just hit them all with a club and they're all dead? So many other people you would watch that would die to that, quite honestly. Because if they hit me, if they manage to actually hit me, I'm dead. Because if they stun me, I'm fucked. Right? Because of the settings, because of insane and all the rest of it. So it's quite easy for me to die. It's just that I've played it so much that I kind of have got a bit of a level of comfort, just like you've said there, right? It doesn't make it routine because I give myself different challenges, like the build that I'm doing. I'm, at the minute, I'm not really worried about the zombies in the game. At the minute, I'm worried about the build in the game, right? That's my challenge for this particular playthrough. Um, for Alpha 16 and so on, it's going to be a bigger challenge anyway because of the, the bandits, etc. coming into the game. Uh, I Ooh, think that'll, that'll make... A follower. I think that'll make an entirely new challenge that we've never had before. Right? Hey, Kratos the boss, how you doing, man? Um, I think the bandits will bring an entirely new challenge to the game that I've never encountered before. And might make it another adrenaline boost, if you like. Right? A new adrenaline boost in the game. Um, but as well as that, I'm considering for Alpha 16 doing permadeath runs. Which will provide a bit of a challenge for me. Um, I normally do die every single playthrough at least a few times. Right? Um, in our Alpha six, in our Alpha thirteen playthrough, um, we did like three hundred and oh, a follower. We we ended up on about three hundred and thirty four days or something. It took for that playthrough, and um, and I had ten thousand zombie kills by day three hundred and thirty three, 
10,000 zombie kills. Like, personal zombie kills. Me killing them. 10,000 zombie kills. Um, um, but I still had like about 18 deaths or something. Yes, there are going to be ban da bandits, um, Kakrista Critter. Um, they're bringing AI bandits into the game that are going to attack you and stuff. See this bandit armor? They didn't make it for nothing. See the bandit armor? They didn't make it for nothing, man. There's going to be bandits with bandit armor and guns and everything else. So there's going to be not just zombies to take care of, but bandits with guns. Uh, and other sort of things. So I think that will provide an entirely new challenge to the game anyway. Thank you very much, Prone. I, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. And Carter, thank you for the follow. And Grayskull as well. Thank you for the follow. While I was ranting and talking crap. I appreciate that. <laughs> and Taylor as well. Taylor Kutcher TV. Thank you very much for the follow. 36 minutes ago. But a little bit late. But better late, better late than never, I think, right? Although Taylor's maybe not here anymore. I don't know. Are you here, Taylor? Give us a wave if you're still here. Are you still here, Taylor? Taylor! Taylor! Wave! Hi, Taylor. Hi, Mom. What? So, you know, there is still, there's definitely still challenges out there. Uh, a permadeath run, like I said, would be a good challenge for me. And I will do that in the future. You know, I'm definitely planning on doing that in the future. I'm also planning um, a no looting run. Where I'm not allowed to loot anything apart from zombies. So, every bit of loot I get will have to come from zombies. I'm not allowed to loot any buildings, anything on the floor, just zombies. So I'm planning a, a, no loot, a no loot run and no firearms run. No firearms at all. So the only thing I can use is a club and a bow the whole way through against anything that we encounter. Um, so I'm planning a few different things that might challenge me in the future, man. You know? I don't know how viable that's going to be when bandits come in the game. That might not be viable when bandits come in, right? To do a, a bow and club run <laughs> with bandits in the game, I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know, right? And spikes, of course, yeah. I mean, I'll use spikes, obviously, yeah, I'll use spikes. The problem is that to play on a higher difficulty, to do a run without using spikes, for instance, right, would require me to use weaponry, really. Right? Really. You're not going to do a seven-day horde having no spikes. You're not going to combat a seven-day horde without using any weaponry. Right? Without using guns, basically. And I try and not use guns where possible. So that kind of goes against what I like to do. Do you know what I mean? So I kind of resort to spikes as my default. It's just kind of what I do, I think. You know? Hey, Swift Hockey, how you doing, bro? I'm not worried about that, by the way. I'm not repairing them at all. Because I'm trying to replace all those with the uh, arrow slits. So that's why they've blown up. Because I'm not repairing them, ever. <laughs> The only, ones I'm, the only ones I'm keeping is the trussing in the middle, in the cross section bit. Miss Window, thank you much the host. Appreciate that. Technically, you can't loot feathers, dig for stone, etc. No, I can dig. I can dig. How can I not? It's opening containers, pawn. I can loot feathers because I can kill chickens. I can't loot nests. I couldn't loot a nest, pawn. But I can kill chickens for feathers. That's my only way to get feathers. Killing chickens. Or it will be when I do that playthrough. If and when I do that playthrough. My only way to get feathers would be chickens. Right? So I'll still have a way of getting feathers. It doesn't require capitals, Black Point. I don't know why it didn't go the first time. Nightbot's just being a bit slow, I think, mate. But I appreciate the link. <laughs> so, yeah, I can still get chickens and stuff. I can get bacon and eggs. Why can't I get bacon and eggs? Oh, yeah, no eggs. Yeah, I couldn't get eggs. Yeah, I'd have no way to get eggs. 
Apart from occasional loot, you get you get eggs sometimes off zombies, don't you? I know, good luck finding chickens on day one. I agree completely, Pawn. I agree, man, I'm not going to find any, right? I don't like mining helmets, Pawn. I'd rather... If I was in... I've worn a mining helmet in real life. If you're not, right? It's basically like a workman's helmet, and it's pretty crappy. And it's not the same protection as wearing a Kevlar helmet. And so, to me, that's better protection. I, If I was in this situation, I'd rather wear a Kevlar helmet than a, a flimsy, shitty mining helmet. So I choose not to wear a mining helmet. But I have guns with flashlights on them. Look, it's got a flashlight on. It's exactly the same. So, it's all good. If I was able to strap a flashlight to the, to the military helmet, I'd do that. Does that make sense? Guys, I know that my choices are sometimes weird, but it's just the way I play. Right? You know, it's it's maybe different. I, I hope it's different than most other streams. Every other stream you can win, the guy's got a mining helmet on, and the guy's blowing everything up, and shooting everything with guns. Am I wrong? So, I'm different, I guess. Right? And I think that's okay. That's a good thing, surely. Surely that's a good thing. I hope it's a freaking good thing. Bro, are you going to die on spikes or something? Because i got to get down there and get that loot, man. Hurry up and die, bro. Come right. If you're going to go right through all those spikes, man, go to the edge. Go to the edge. I don't want to try and get your loot. You fucking dick. You dick. He's a dick. I don't like that guy. He's a dick. Dude! Dude! Why aren't you... Dude! Why didn't you die with the rest of them, bro? Were you leading the attack? Are you like a commander? Fallen soldier with just a sandwich? What's that all about? Was he like the commander or something? I don't know. Luke. How's my pants? Um, oh, let's quickly scrap that. Golden rod. This is what I was talking about, by the way. The fellow was asking about um, keeping yourself cool or, or wellness. Grow loads of goldenrod or chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemums good for keeping you cool, and the goldenrod for wellness, right? Let's drink that. And you can see the effect there of yucca juice as well. It keeps you cool as well. So there's a number of different things that will keep you cool in the game already. Loads of loot. Give me the loot, bros. Fucking piercings. More like an MP. Yeah, it does look more like an MP, doesn't it? It does look more like military police. You're right. Scrap that. Get rid. Get rid. Get rid. Scrap that. Eat that. Scrap that. Ah, it's too high quality to scrap. It's too high quality, I'd feel bad. Scrap that. Whoa! Let's not run into them. Let's not run into them, that would be just crazy. Put some shit away. 